Good afternoon. I'm going to have to talk really fast because I tried filming this little book a while ago and it went way over my time limit. So bear with me. This is a gypsy journal. I was inspired by so many people on uh, Facebook junk journal junkies. Uh, the cover is made out of two pieces of craft text. Uh, one for the outside, one covered with fabric on the inside, and then uh, done the uh, hidden hidden spine, hidden sewing method. Uh, this is a little Tim Holtz swivel chain. It's got a little Tim Holtz frame charm with a pi another picture of a gypsy and a few other little things here. Uh, I en enhanced this photo that I found on Pinterest by adding some glossy accents. I hope you can see to her eyes and the jewelry part here. Added a little faceted crystal there. The feather, some trim. Uh, Tim Holtz corners, hitch post closure with uh, the dyed seam binding. Like I said, this is fabric and it is adhered to the craft text using heat bond. This little pocket is made from a dollhouse rug. It has a little quote card on in the inside. All three signatures of this book have a wrap that is made out of K & Company paper that has interactive pockets and flips and folds, and I'll try to show you each one of those. The photos are from thegraphicsfairy.com. There's about 22, 24 uh, royalty-free images, and you can uh, download all of those and have a lot of fun with gypsies. This little booklet here was based on what I've seen people do with a window envelope. I didn't have one of those, so I created something similar. It's got a little piece of mylar in there. Uh, again, graphics fairy. There are several items here uh, that are from Cavallini and Company, and there's also going to be some paper bags from them. This is just a big pocket. <clears throat> I found quite by accident that Butterbee uh, scraps um, metal pieces are magnet magnetic uh, or will attract a magnet. So this little flip up has uh, the Butterbee scraps thing and a magnet under here. A little pocket here. There's several items in here, this and this and some more things that I'll show you that are from Bow Bunny, there was a little collection, I think they called it Always and Forever, that was at Tuesday morning, and I got that. And this little piece is also from that, is, is the frame. I created all the my own digital pages using um, there. Uh, images that I found on the Graphics Fairy, and this is one of the Graphics Fairy frames here. I also used pictures of uh, trims and earrings and all sorts of things like that that I scanned in. Uh, also some buttons here that were actually from a Mischief Circus kit that I own had to do with uh, fairy tales. I don't like coffee or tea stained paper. I don't like the smell. I really don't like the crinkleness for writing so I found on Amazon.com they had this package of 96 sheets of paper that they called antiqued and it just looks like coffee dyed tea stained paper and I really enjoyed that. Another reason to belong to the Graphics Fairy is that very often you don't have to create your own ephemera. They do it for you. This is a little uh, journal pocket uh, that they created this paper called Kaleidoscope. And it was two weeks ago they had a, a new kit for in the members area called Delicate Butterflies. And this was part of the printables that you could get. The only thing different is, is that I added the frame and the gypsies to the front of each of those. And then I added a photograph to their little journal cards that went with that. And there's four of those in this book. I won't try to open every one of them for time's sake. This is my own uh, marble paper. It's a handmade paper and I had marbled it and I just thought it went well in here. Uh, each of the three signatures has some tracing paper with one of the gra uh, Graphics Fairy uh, Gypsies printed out on it. This is part of the Cavallini and Company. They have stickers and so each of the signature uh, strings has uh, those on the end. The 
Each of the signatures has a rubber stamped lady from the Prima uh, company. I was turned on to these by Dreams Etc. and I enjoyed hand coloring those in. Okay, this is the other side of the first signature. I'm going to go ahead and take this paper clip off. Again, Butterbee Scraps, attracted by the magnet. This opens up and there's a little tuck spot here with this little uh, journaling card that I created. But then it opens this way and there's a little tuck spot with a, another gypsy picture. This one is actually from Pinterest. The other side of this is just a uh, little pocket with some tags created out of leftover scrapbook paper and this is one of the Cavallini and Company bags of which there are two in here. This is another thing that you can get from the members area of the Graphics Ferry. Uh, this is called a large coin uh, envelope template. So I took this, I put some uh, picture of some fabric on it, and then added the Graphics Ferry frame that you see here and a picture off of Pinterest, some other trim, and uh, kept things rather flat. Uh, you could do this by just taking their template, printing it out, and gluing a frame over a picture, but unfortunately that all starts to get very thick. This is more of the Bow Bunny, uh, Always and Forever, and one of their journaling cards. Uh, little frame and button or the Bow Bunny. This is just a leftover piece of uh, the K & Company paper. This side, again, there's a magnet here to hold that in. This is a little tuck spot. This flips up. This is from the Bow Bunny collection. This is Dresden trim that I learned about from taking an online class with the Graphics Fairy. Another one of those kaleidoscope little pockets from the Graphics Fairy collection. Trim that you can just scan into your computer. A different one of my marble papers. This is the one of the delicate butterflies that they use the wings from to make the kaleidoscope. These are Graphics Fairies images. More of the Cavallini and Company strings. This is actually a pair of earrings attached to some trim on top of another piece of trim on top of a piece of uh, fabric scanned in. So you can create all sorts of interesting layers. If you just learn to play with Photoshop Elements or Pick Monkey and Graphics Fairy will teach you how. Another one of the uh, rubber stamps that I colored in. More of the tracing paper. Okay, and so this is the other side of um, this, uh, what I'm calling a signature wrap. This one has a pocket and a tuck spot here, a piece of Butterbee scraps. This opens up. This is magnetized, comes out, but you can take it out easier if you release that magnet. This is a six by nine envelope. I just created a little pocket here. This is the actual pocket of the envelope, which is big enough to hold one of the larger Project Life journaling cards. And then these are just little pages that I created with some quotes that's sewn in with a three-hole pamphlet stitch. Like this one's a pocket, this is a flip, uh, but you can create just a little, a little extra notebook that can fit inside your journal. And I think this is the third of the four kaleidoscope little journal places and a little Buddha card that I had. <clears throat> I had two of these larger ones, this fabric, and just uh, different frame, different gypsy. This page has uh, this wrap. This is uh, from the Bow Bunny collection. They had a couple of uh, banner type things and I used those as a tuck spot. This is for the Cavallini and Company. I believe this is from it's either the Bow Bunny or that may be Tim Holtz Botanicals. A uh, little journal card. This flips up. You can put whatever you want here. I did have to leave a little space because this got too fat. This side is also magnetized. That's just tucked in there. 
And then this is just some writing paper that I have uh, used that Tim Holtz stapler and stapled together, and it's just held in with a magnet. Love the uh, gypsy horses. They're a big draft horse with long manes and tails. Look a little bit like a Clydesdale, but they have a different name for it that I, I, I can't pronounce. This is the third and last of the uh, Prima rubber stamps. Trying to get to the interesting pages. And then this is the back half of uh, the signature wrap. Again, Butterby scraps. It is attracted to the magnet. It flips up, flips down. Here's the uh, larger Cavallini bag. A little tuck spot here with uh, a Tim Holtz item. Tim Holtz, Bow Bunny. This is Bow Bunny, always and forever. And then the back is just another flip. So, Kind of got chunky because of all this ephemera that I had added in, but I really enjoyed making it and I hope you enjoyed looking at it. Have a great day.